Hi everybody, it's 16th of July, um, sure like it's midday, and a uh, couple of interesting things to do ahead. Um, first of all, um, going to do a selection through the, the first spawning that we did, uh, there's about 560 of those left. Um, eight weeks ago, tomorrow, Thursday, um, that they hatched out. Um, so really want to go through those, check those again. They've grown very well and developed very well since they've been in the, the tank from the last selection, which was what, three, three weeks ago, I think. Um, one thing that I am aware of um, has become apparent, um, became fairly apparent soon after um, they started to grow a little bit more from that first selection was the number of dual deformities and fin deformities that we have. Um, but we'll look at those in more detail in a, in a little while once the fish are out. Um, unfortunately for many of them it's going to mean that they don't have a future. Um, for some that have very nice patterns or very nice skin, I should probably keep those uh, just to see how they develop for the time being as a learning experience um, about their skin and, and colour and pigmentation development. Um, so that's those. So I'm kind of a, a bit of a mixed feeling about going through these to be honest um, I had a quick look yesterday and it was a little bit disappointing um, but we'll see with regards to the second spawning unfortunately um, if you saw the round net that I made up um, they really didn't thrive in there at all didn't do very well at all to be honest um, didn't grow very well um, and then suddenly the numbers seemed to drop down very dramatically um, unfortunately I decided to write off that second spawning um, with one thing particular in mind and that's the third spawning that we did which was always supposed to be the first spawning and the main spawning um, and how did that worked out originally um, back what, uh, nine weeks ago um, then we wouldn't have had the, the other two spawnings anyhow and the good news is is that we got a lot of fry from that first spawning uh, in the paddling pool outside as a result of all the sorting through I'm going to be doing today and probably into tomorrow um, what's going to happen is the, the remainers from this first spawning are going to be in the tank behind me outside of a net um, and then I'll have free run of the tank um, inside the net um, the plan is to put several thousand of the black babies from the third spawning um, they're about a week old now put several thousand of those um, depends how I feel the numbers are going as I'm sorting through um, into the net behind me, uh, get that cleaned out, that will cleaned out this afternoon uh, and they'll go in there, so we're the, the, the largest of the spawnings, what's now my main spawning for obvious reasons um, given the numbers that we're down to with the first one um, then that will be split between two tanks to give them more space and um, we'll also have then the opportunity to watch how the black ones develop against the white ones um, as well over the course of uh, the rest of the summer I hope um, so that's the plan. So I'm going to get these fish in the net behind me um, out into some bowls, have a sort through um, and then we'll see where we're at. Okay, I've completed the selection. Um, yeah, kind of not sure where I'm at with it at the moment. I need to have a look through the bowl of the keepers again and pick through and see how many we've got that are fish that I really, really like. Um, um, We'll do that in a little while, uh, give me some time to go through and then I'll talk through some of those. One of the things I do want to show you is one of the problems I spoke about, or potential problems I spoke about um, before I started doing the selection, and that's deformities. And these, just a selection of the fry that all exhibit the same deformed head shape and gill plates, pinches under the head, under the eyes, and the gill plates stick out open wide see it very clearly on that one there um, I have to be honest I have kept a few um, that exhibit this and um, they're particularly fish that I was interested to see how they develop in terms of their pattern and their color etc um, but certainly don't need many of those um, for that task and so unfortunately for these that's the lot for now um, reason why could be genetic not really sure um, I guess we'll only learn that in future spawnings using this parent set and 
on the base of what I see um, in terms of the yellow and the white ones which were the real I suppose the target of the spawning um, it certainly would be apparent that they'll be used again um, and that's when we will find out whether it's a genetic thing or as I spoke about on an earlier video way back at the beginning and we had ammonia excess ammonia levels after the spawning and again that's something I'll talk about because I've uh, thinking about the way I've done the spawnings um, I think there's ways that can be avoided and the reasons behind it but we'll talk about that later on another video um, but for now I'm going to carry on sort through the keepers uh, which hope you'll find them a lot more attractive um, than this clock okay on a rather more cheery note here a selection of keepers so as was obvious uh, or maybe not so obvious um, it was apparent um, early on we had lighter coloured fry and we had dark coloured fry um, one of the objectives of using the Harawake was to get some yellow sort of key Kiko Kuryu um, so here are a selection of the, the lighter fry that we've kept um, you may as I'm sure in the middle of the shot you'll find suddenly one that you're questioning why I've kept it as I mentioned earlier there are a few that I've kept which maybe weren't fish that I would have normally kept but um, with the problem with the gills and the heads that we've seen there are a few I've kept which do exhibit that um, but I'm interested to see how they develop in one way or another but what I'll do um, I'm going to sort through these and select out maybe a dozen or two dozen if I'm lucky ones that I particularly like and have a closer look at those as I've gone through these now I'm perhaps a little bit less despondent than I was so hopefully there's something interesting to show you in a short while okay so this net now contains 19 of the light coloured fry light coloured babies which I've gone through and picked out as fish that you know I have some hope for there's a whole lot more than this in the in the bowl, the complete lot of them. But I think there's some nice bright colours in here. Some patterns to come. And I can probably oh one's gone out. Hopefully he's inside a bowl still. Probably pick out my my number one from this lot. It will be my number one tattoo at this stage from this group. So, I'm quite happy with these, I've got to be honest. Um, not dissatisfied. They were very much an experiment. And speaking to someone earlier in the week, had said, you know, over winter, if I've got 50 toasai that remain in the tank to overwinter, then I'll be happy. So, Hey, we've got a whole new, whole other spawning still. So we've got 19 here, a whole lot more than that, I say, in the main bowl, and we've got the dark ones to look through at the moment as well. And um, what I should just do quickly is probably narrow this down to a top, top three or four as well, and I want to photograph this lot as well before they go back in. So here we are, my top six from the light coloured fry. And I think this one in the bottom corner here, there in the centre, I think is my number one. But pretty happy with those. Pretty, pretty happy indeed with those as a top six. Can't be dissatisfied at all. So very excited to see how they get on over the coming weeks. One thing I've not looked at in any real detail this time 
is scalation um, and really I should now be looking at scales in much more detail because it's something that's very important to me but hey, I haven't got a whole lot to play with um, but yeah pretty pleased Okay, then it now contains the darker examples or selection of the darker examples, it's just a random selection. Most of these exhibit some kind of pattern. There's some where it's not so obvious, some where it's more obvious. And then with the light ones, there's a few in here which ordinarily I would have rejected. Um, but they have something about them that I want to see and, and see how that develops um, as, the, as the koi grow, even though they may have a slight deformity or something. When these are in the, the bright sunshine, which unfortunately makes it really difficult to film, um, the luster on them is incredibly, incredibly high which of course is a criteria you're looking for when you're breeding and selecting metallic fish. So that bodes well for the female, which I mean the female of these fish, um, even anybody who comes to the pond where she's in at the moment, if there's one fish they're going to pick out, then you can bet your bottom dollar it's the Deutz Harawake that is the female for these because her, her luster on her is so, so strong and she's so bright and colourful. So it bodes well that she's passing that on um, to her offspring by the, seam of th by the look of things. And we'll see, uh, we've just got that one male that's done all the fathering of all of these fish and all the, the tiny the tens of thousands of tiny fry that are in the paddling pool which is next to me as well. So what I shall do again with these, have a little sort through, pick out a few that particularly interest me and we'll get those on video and then I'll be photographing those as well. And then once all that's done they'll go back into the tank and the plan is that they go into the tank without a net this time so they'll go in there and we'll have an idea of exactly how many we've got. Okay, there's now 30 of the darker fry in this, this net. I have to ex admit, several of them selected themselves and I didn't remove them. Um, keen to get the fish back as quickly as possible now. I've been out quite a while. Anyway, 30 here. Basic, the ones I've chosen, they've basically got some element of pattern and obviously some good luster. The key criteria. So, some interesting fish in here, fish that, you know, and kind of hopeful something could come from one or two of them. Ultimately, whenever I first start, started talking about breeding, I always used to say it's just about producing one fish. That one special fish, the rest of it um, is all just part of the process. And I suppose the more time and effort you put into it, the greedier you get and the more you want in terms of numbers. You want a whole pond full of fish that people are going to wow about at the end of the season. But here we had a very small spawning, remember? Very young fish, female, two-year-old female. So she didn't have a huge number of eggs to start with. There was one male with her, so 
the fertilization rate wasn't huge so everything was stacked against it to start with to be honest uh, which we were fully aware of at the time so to get this bond at this stage is probably not realistic or, or worthwhile or the appropriate so I'm happy I'm happy I'm gonna sort through these now put another sort of favorite half a dozen or so in a bowl get those photographed and then get everything back into the pond into the tank so we'll end on this one perhaps my favorite of the darker babies uh, still very much yellow uh, whether that will darken up time will tell uh, people may think it's just a solid color there is break around the pattern the scalation looks pretty much perfect the luster is really nice um, head and gills all seem fine pectoral seem, fins seem fine so there we go and I'm going to get this back before he takes a, a leap of faith so everything going back into the tank now and that rounds up today's selection and all in all, I guess I'm pretty happy. Okay, just to wrap up on this hot, sunny afternoon, I think the temperatures are around 27 degrees or something crazy like that. Um, total 401 went back into the tank. 194 of those were the light yellow color babies and 207 uh, were the darker color babies. So I've got to be honest, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I took a sample from the, the pond, uh, from the net yesterday, from the tank and it seemed like one out of 20 um, was without defect or deformity or you know any suggestion it might be any good so maybe i was just in a grumpy mood yesterday and i started the day in a bit of a grumpy mood today because um, i wasn't particularly optimistic but gone down from 160 down uh, 560 down to about 400 so i can't complain too much i'm fairly happy with that um, and there's a couple of really nice ones in there that I'm really happy with so all's good tomorrow on with the sorting the fry from the third spawning um, basically that's just going to be putting the net back into the tank behind me um, making it slightly smaller so the 400 fish that have gone back have got some room to, to swim around the outside of it um, and then for uh, the I'm looking to probably put 3,000 black um, of the baby fry or black fry in there um, it's just sort of very rough I'm looking thinking how many there may be in that in the, the paddling pool outside so that's the plan hopefully we can get 3,000 in there um, that probably gets us up to where we were to start with um, with this spawning I think um, in terms of the number of fry we had um, once they sort of swell and become visible um, certainly when we did selection we didn't earn from a couple of thousand um, to the 560 or so. So I think if we were 3,000 in there, maybe 4,000, 5,000 if we're lucky, um, then the white fry and the rest of whatever black fry there are will stay outside in the paddling pool. Um, anyway, that's tomorrow's plan for me now. I've got to pack up all the bowls and stuff, um, but a pleasing day after all.